Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, we've got a DVD review, and this time around I'm reviewing the film Pacific Rim. So, the film is about essentially monsters attacking the Earth, and they come from a portal uh, that's located in the sea, in the Pacific Ocean, hence the name really uh, Pacific Rim. Pacific Ocean, Pacific, and come through the portal from the Pacific. So the monsters uh, in the film are called Kaijus. Bit of a strange name, don't know where it's really come from, but they've made it up and it's called Kaiju. A monster is a Kaiju. The uh, robots that are created for the humans to fight the monsters are called Jaegers. Uh, when I first heard of it, I thought probably like a Jaeger Meister, the drink. Um, but yeah, where it's come from, Jaeger is the monster fighting machine. The only way that uh, a Jaeger can be controlled is by two men. Or in some cases a man and a woman. And uh, the way that the two people control the Jaeger is by a drift. And you have to be drift compatible. And this being uh, that a family member, a brother, a dad, son, uh, whoever really, uh, they are the best people to become a drift partner with and to control the robots, the Jaegers. So the film is set in the near future, so it's not 2013, it's 2020 the film is set in. So a few years down the line, we have all this to look forward to. Uh, so yeah, in the near future, the whole world have put aside all the differences and they have teamed up, each continent, each country, they've all teamed up uh, to re put all the resources together and to fight the creatures and to make these robots really so they're not cheap everybody's put in some man hours to create a robot to fight the uh, kaijus so no more cold war no you know russia's gonna bomb us or america's gonna do this uh, it's now no more cold war they're all teamed together and they're all fighting one enemy which is the kaijus uh, one of the scientists in the film uh, never seen him in a film before he looked a bit familiar but uh, didn't really recognise him out of a well-known film. Uh, he manages to almost drift himself with a kaiju's brain. Uh, now this was pretty cool really, it was good to see uh, the other side, uh, like the monster side of the story. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, uh, there is an awkward, annoying, I think she's Japanese, uh, she's Japanese or Chinese, but she does my head in. Uh, and all throughout the film, there's an awkward will they won't they moment of are they going to kiss and that's with the main guy the main character and uh, who will be his co-pilot the female lead and throughout the film the will they won't they are they should they are they finally going to kiss and there's that all through the film the whole sexual tension between them two is so annoying and it's not needed Personally, I think that the Chinese female lead role was very annoying. I don't think it was needed, and I think it should have been a stronger character or a stronger actress uh, to play that part. When I was watching the film, I was almost talking to the people on the screen. This was how gripped I was to the film. I thought it was pretty enjoyable. A uh, great fight scene, so like I say, I was talking to the screen. I was, I was, I was saying things like, dodge the acid... Uh, other things like, oh, now you've got wings, uh, where are you taking that Jaeger, and now you use the sword. It was things like that I was saying throughout the film. So it was, I don't know, it's been a while that a, a film has got me that gripped that I start talking to the screen. While I was watching the film, I was eating my tea. So eating my dinner, having a bit of food, and uh, my dinner almost went cold because I was that engrossed in the film. I was that... I was that hooked almost, I wanted to see what happened, I didn't want to tear myself away from the film, so my tea almost went cold, really. The action's great to watch, to be honest. The story is a bit far-fetched, but I could almost go along with it. The colours are so vibrant. The only downside I really thought about was the whole will they, won't they, uh, load of bollocks between the two main characters. Uh, it wasn't needed, you know, they could have got rid of that, and it would have been fine. The fact that the lead female role, she was a pretty poor character. Never seen her in a film. She was a bad actress. Uh, she was a bit weak throughout the film. I think it would have been a better character 
if it was more of a well-known actress who played that part or a stronger character really I think Olivia Wilde I think she would have been the best person to play that character but overall really uh, Pacific Rim is a great action film with great colours a good sci-fi storyline uh, however it does have a weak female lead uh, but yeah really uh, thanks for watching my review of Pacific Rim don't forget to check out We The Devoted any gear use TobyWTD as your promo code and get 20% off any We The Devoted stuff all the links down below but overall guys thank you for watching my review of Pacific Rim I hope you like it